Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's Gofan Elungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. You can check out our second YouTube channel called Fanny and Jesse 2.0, our podcast Diving In with Fanny and Jesse, our Patreon funny and jesse you can find the links to what i mentioned in the description box and yeah just feel free to click them and enjoy the content that we're putting out a big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel you guys are the best thank you very much i hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed this was suggested by one of you so a big shout out to you and today we're going to be reacting to shoot christians eat crab what's so special about crab i've always wanted to taste crab but I've, i haven't had the chance or at least i've just never ordered it but whatever the case is, so let's get into the video. Should we as Christians be eating crab? In this video, I'm going to take a deep look into the Bible and what it tells us about what we should and shouldn't eat when it comes to the wildlife of the sea. Hi, I'm Tyler, your Christian personal trainer, and here at 517 Fitness, I'm all about helping you lose weight and gain faith. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love for you to join the 517 Fitness family. So as part of this biblical lifestyle, this biblical eating plan that we're creating here on 517 Fitness, we have to take a deep, hard look at the Bible verses that talk about basically our diet, which leads us into Leviticus 11, 9 through 12 reads, Of all the creatures living in the water, of the sea, and the streams, you may eat any that have fins and scales. But all creatures in the seas or streams that do not have fins and scales, whether among all the swarming things or among all the things living creatures in the water, you are to regard as unclean. And since you are to regard them as unclean, you must not eat their meat. You must regard their carcasses as unclean. Anything living in the water that does not have fins and scales is to be regarded as unclean by you. So, just like in the previous Leviticus verses, God lays out a very blunt plan when it comes to wildlife of the sea. It needs to have two things, a fin and scales. It can't just have fins and it can't just have scales. It has to have both of them. So what does that mean we can eat? You're looking at tuna, salmon, cod, trout, halibut. Basically, a good amount of fish have both fins and scales. So what does that mean we can't eat? Actually, we can't eat catfish, crab, shrimp, oysters, scallops, squid, octopus, lobster. Basically, anything that's not a fish. The thing that actually was the most surprising to me was catfish. I had never even thought of them not having scales. So there's kind of a logical aspect to this that the reason why this makes sense for us to keep this dietary law in practice today. The logic being kind of going back to old school mom sayings, you are what you eat. See, all the animals that I just listed off to you are what are considered bottom dwellers. They're basically the garbage disposal system for the whole sea. So very much like what I talked about in previous videos about meat and the digestive system of cow and pigs, this has to do exactly with the wildlife that we eat in the sea. They basically only eat the garbage that's left in the sea. So we don't want to be what we eat eats, if that makes sense. So to stick with the we are what we eat concept, let me tell you this story. There's, there's a story about 
a crab fisher sent on the dock and he's just catching crab after crab after crab and he's just throwing them into this bucket and one day this little boy comes up to him and goes sir you're, you're all, all your crabs are gonna dis, you know run away why, why is there not a lid on this on this box you have of crabs this this container and and the old man just kind of looks at the kid chuckles and says huh, watch this and he throws another crab in there there's probably 15 crabs in this bucket and every time one of the crabs goes to climb out one of the crabs from the bottom just grabs him and pulls him down crab climbs up some more another one grabs pulls down another one goes up to the side all of these crabs are trying to push themselves out that they actually are just hurting themselves and not letting any of the other ones succeed so i i use this story as a kind of a visual of psychologically and emotionally that crabs are crabby and don't want you to succeed and I know it's kind of a weird connection but they eat not real I mean they're the garbage disposals of the sea and then they treat each other in such a way that we as humans shouldn't treat each other either it's kind of a interesting second way of looking at this story than getting away from just the physical makeup of a crab there's also a psychological kind of subconsciousness to the crab that um is well documented as that they're very um that they just pull each other down so why is it that eating crab is not actually a practice that is practiced in church today? I actually find this one probably the most interesting because so often churches have crab feeds as fundraisers. Um, but it goes back to the book of Mark where Jesus gets kind of cornered by the Pharisees and they're talking about you know, ritual cleaning of the hands before eating and whatnot. I actually have a whole video about the dietary laws, which you can watch right here. I really take a good look at this verse more, but to summarize it, basically that verse, Jesus is not talking about the actual food that's going into our system. He's talking about the rituals of cleaning ourselves before eating. And the second thing is, is that the verse itself has kind of warped through the translation of it throughout the years. And the part that says, thus Jesus made all food clean, isn't fully a part of the Bible. There's a part of it that is actually just the translator's translation of what is going on in the full context of that verse. And like all of this, the verse that actually kind of, to me, summarizes this the best is Matthew 5, 17 through 19, where it says, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I do not come to abolish them, but to fulfill them. For truly I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not an iota, not a dot will pass from the law until all is accomplished. Therefore, whoever relaxes one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does them and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. That verse itself, to me, speaks widely over the concept of the laws of the Old Testament and how we, as Christians today, should still fulfill them and still obey them. I highly suggest watching my pork video where I kind of go into a little bit more of a conversation about that verse. But logically, I just also have always found it interesting that for years growing up in the church, I was told, you know, you want to live like Jesus. You know, what would Jesus do? Jesus would be obeying those laws, but yet Nobody wants to obey them now. It, 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 it was it's so interesting to me how people 
kind of mold this in such a way that fits into what they want. And here's the thing that really is interesting is that if I wanted to mold this in a way that was how I like, I like eating crab. I like eating lobster. I think they're delicious. I love calamari. I'm a huge sushi fan. In the fact that I can't eat crab wipes out huge amounts of sushi options. But I believe that God is saying that that's how we should eat is to not eat animals of the sea that don't have a fin and don't have scales. So guess what? I get things flipped around when I get sushi. I don't get calamari when I'm out at, with friends as an appetizer. I think they're called po' boys. I mean, they sound delicious when I watch them on the Food Network, the, you know, the New Orleans fried oysters and f catfish sandwiches and stuff like that. I don't eat those things. Because, A, I don't believe God wants us to eat it. But then, two, I personally have found that those are actually really unhealthy options. And the options of eating a fish with fins and scales tend to be the more healthy option for us. So, once again, God lays out a plan that is the best for us. So, what do you guys think? Do you believe that we should eat the way the Leviticus 11 says, or should we not? I'd love to hear your views of it in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I truly hope that it has helped you grow in your faith and help you lose weight. And like always, if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. I would hate for you to miss out on any of these fun videos. And uh, like always, God bless, finish strong, and I will see you in the next video i love his motto lose weight gain faith that's very very interesting um he mentioned calamari i love calamari shrimp prawns especially if they're fried they've been fried in butter they just the taste is just out of this world i can't even explain um i wish he supported i get where he's going with this but i just wish he supported me it with um i think there's this passage in the bible i said i think i know it's there but i just don't know where but uh it talks about how god has given us all these greens in the world because for some people though um i mean eating fleshy things is fine is nice and fine for some people i guess but when you look at it why are we eat we are animals so are we eating other animals why can't we um I'm not vegetarian, vegan or anything. I still eat uh, meat, chicken, whatever it is, but in small portions. Like, I think I've said this before. It's like the test is just, I don't know if I've eaten it too much, but it's, not, it's just not something that I want to eat too much anymore. Of. I thought I would never be the person to say such a thing, but it's really just, I would make it for my parents, but for me, I'm reducing on how much meaty stuff I intake otherwise it's okay for some people and it's okay if you interpret the verses that he was saying differently but i think god wants us to be in a healthy state because our souls occupy these bodies and it's our um it's our job to take care of our bodies let's be healthy let's exercise let's eat the right foods or amounts of foods and once you're healthy once you feel good about your body you even feel good about other things as well. You're healthy, you're confident, you're more faithful. However you want to take the video. Otherwise, this was very interesting. And a big shout out to the person that suggested this. And and this is something different that we're reacting to. I think this is the second time someone has actually suggested a Christian um, video. If I'm not mistaken. Otherwise, this was great. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And of course, do not forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next reaction video.